Distinguished members of the subcommittee, thank you for your kind introduction, for holding this hearing and allowing me to testify representing the National Emergency Management Association in the state of North Carolina. Since the devastation of Hurricane Matthew in 2016, North Carolina has experienced multiple hurricanes, tropical storms, and other disasters. Damage from Hurricane Florence alone totaled more than Hurricane Matthew and Hurricane Floyd combined. We are also the only state where Hurricane Dorian made landfall earlier this year. Citizens across the country, as well as political, political leadership, must understand the roles and responsibilities in responding to and recovering from disasters. FEMA is not a first responder, and the governor maintains ultimate authority over managing the disaster. The three levels of disaster response, federal, state, and local, must all support one another. Our locals have a tough job. Many of them are only holding part-time positions, and few have all the necessary resources to respond to major events. To lead the state's efforts to rebuild smarter and stronger the wake of, in the wake of Hurricane Florence, Governor Cooper established the North Carolina Office of Recovery and Resiliency, or NCOR. The office provides many recovery functions, including managing CDBGDR with NCOR up and running. North Carolina is now on the road to recovery with a team of state, federal, and volunteer partners dedicated to helping communities rebuild to be more resilient and better prepared to weather future storms. One of the largest capability gaps currently is in the coordination of federal programs. In the wake of any disaster, state and local emergency managers may have to navigate more than 90 programs across 17 federal agencies. In my written statement, I go into detail about some of the challenges with disaster case management and crisis counseling programs at FEMA. Awards for these grants typically see significant delays. These delays lead to an inability to properly plan for assistance, maintain personnel, and commit resources to disaster survivors. FEMA recently announced the termination of the Sheltering and Temporary Essential Power, or STEP, program, which enables residents to more quickly return to their homes. With the termination of the program, FEMA must work to leverage other existing programs for emergency sheltering and housing assistance to meet the needs of survivors. The continued debate over the National Flood Insurance Program and delays in implementing provisions of the Disaster Recovery Reform Act also prevent the bold moves we must take as a nation to be more resilient. No discussion of long-term recovery would be complete without addressing the CDB, CDBGDR program at HUD. We appreciate the support of Congress in appropriating funds to CDBGDR, and HUD has been a great partner to North Carolina in administering the program. However, the program remains bifurcated from other federal recovery programs, and the lack of a regular authorization leaves states waiting months, if not years, for funding. I know many options to this program are being discussed here in Congress, but one reform which would immediately improve CDBGDR is creating a method by which information from disaster survivors could be shared across various federal agencies. Typically known as a universal application, this improvement would allow survivors to complete one application for use by HUD, FEMA, and the Small Business Administration. On behalf of the state emergency managers, thank you again for holding this hearing and drawing attention to the needs of the emergency management community. In North Carolina, we are acutely aware of the need to build upon the momentum of last year's Disaster Recovery Reform Act to further improve disaster recovery efforts and ensure we support our communities in their time of need. Thank you, ma'am.